Baby girl, when last did you wash your bra? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Everything Gracious here In this channel, we do self-care, we do hygiene, we do lifestyle and vlogs If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so 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 much for coming back to the channel And if you're new here, you're welcome to the channel Do not forget to support by subscribing to the channel liking and sharing my videos in this video i'll be sharing with you guys those tips you need in order to level up your feminine hygiene in order not to waste so much time let's head right onto it the first tip you need in order to level up your feminine hygiene is sharing at least twice a day you guys please learn to shower twice a day like I've heard some ladies say they shower just once a day because because they don't roll on dirty or because they are not children they don't play in sand or something so they shower just once a day like how do you even feel showering once a day you shower in the morning you go out for all your up and downs your business school and all Definitely, your body will sweat out at some point. Why not come back shower before cleaning your bed so you will feel refreshed again? Why would you just come back and remove your clothes and clean your bed and sleep? It's not even making sense. Ladies, please, we should learn to shower twice a day. You know, we are prone to so many things. Like, we are always at the receiving end, we ladies. So, please try to shower twice a day it will definitely make you smell nice it will just your skin not 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 necessarily smelling nice but your skin will do the talking like forget all this um taking care of your skin with so much money and all bath twice a day give yourself a satisfying bath twice a day and you will come back to thank me like you will see that effect on your skin like nobody needs to tell you that this is a you yourself you'll see so sharing clean and satisfying include exfoliating you exfoliate your skin when you use a body scrub you you use an exfoliating bath gloves uh an exfoliating brush yes and so on that's specifically for the body so guys and one more thing those products meant for your body you dare not use this on your face they are not facial products so please don't use them on your face because the skin on our face is very delicate we don't need to stress it in any way so especially with chemical products and all and for facial exfoliating all you need is a chemical exfoliant or a facial scrub while at it do not forget to wash your belly button and do not forget to wash in between your toes that's for those who wear cover shoes without socks and also do not forget to wash behind your ears and very importantly always shave under your arms and your vaginal area like it's not just nice leaving hair on those areas it's not comfortable for me it's not comfortable i don't know for other people we have people who leave hairs there and they feel so comfortable with it but i feel it's not healthy and it's not comfortable to leave hair in that area i forgot to say do not forget to wash your backside while taking your bath. Most people don't do that. You use your sponge mildly to wash your backside. That anus, wash it. You don't only wash them when you don't pull in. You wash them while you take your bath too. It is very important. It is. The second tip you need in leveling up your feminine hygiene is better oral care for those of you having bad breaths like how do you cope how do you cope with bad breaths how do you do it you know your mouth smells funky and 
you're so comfortable with it <laughs> to be honest i don't know what to say about this everybody's different everybody thinks differently everybody has different personality but for me i can't i can't deal with someone with i can't deal with someone with a bad breath and body odor too i can't like you smell so funky why coming to my side like why wanting to talk to me it's not making sense just learn to practice good oral care and like you yourself you feel so comfortable with your body you want to relate with people you want to be confident with yourself you want to have that high self-esteem you want to you know you want to talk wherever you go because you're fr you're you're feeling fresh you're having a good breath and all but trust me when you have a bad breath you will not even want to talk to anyone like i don't know for those who are careless about it but for those people who know they have bad breath and why not just practice good oral care it will help you like it will it will go a long way for you and practicing good and hygienic oral care include flossing brushing twice a day um tongue scraping and mouth washing like if you do all these i bet you you will not experience bad breath try brushing twice a day you see this you see this routine it is very very healthy after all your everyday runnings you're eating here and there you're eating chocolate this that 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 everything stick to your teeth you just go lay on your bed and sleep like are you for real like is it even making sense please as you try to take your bath before you go to bed brush your teeth before going to bed too because it is very very healthy when you brush your teeth before going to bed you wake up feeling like you will not have that bad breath coming from your mouth when you brush at night before going to bed you will wake up in the morning with a good breath feeling comfortable with your breath and baby you can even kiss your partner like a french kiss you will feel comfortable doing that <laughs> but i bet you go to bed without brushing you wake up in the morning and you don't want to talk to anybody you don't want to kiss your partner you don't want to even talk to your partner in the morning because that bad breath is there always practice brushing twice a day and you will come back to just me in the comment section the third tip you need to practice to level up your feminine hygiene is always change your bed sheets or body towels and including face towels definitely you changing your bed spread you want to wash it before fixing it back on your mattress right when you remove your bed spread from your bed try to wash it immediately don't keep it wash it immediately see you changing your bed sheet every week though it depends on how you use your bed we have people who pair bed with their siblings if you're alone in your room or if you're alone uh, or if you're using your bed alone you can use your bed spread for two weeks but if you're pairing bed with someone you are allowed to use your bed spread for one week because those who use their bed alone know how they maintain the neatness on the bed they know how they maintain their bed they know how they use their bed you get but you are pairing bed with someone you don't know where it's not hygienic you pairing bed with someone and using the bed spread for for two weeks you use it for one week you're using your bed alone you you use your bed spread for two weeks it's very okay while your two wells you learn to wash your towels every week your face towels you wash your face towels after every two to three days you don't leave your face towels for up to a week it's not hygienic for the skin 
especially the skin on our face you know it's a very delicate area so you should only use your face towels for two to three days and then you wash the first tip you need in leveling up your personal hygiene is washing your underwear often baby girl when last did you wash your bra <laughs> baby girl when last did you wash your bra because you're wearing a black bra and you're not seeing the dirty it means it's not dirty right most of you want to buy inner wears that are of dark colors because you don't want to see when it's dirty <laughs> especially bra we hardly wash bra girls please wash your undies they are very important the way you take care of your skin that is the way you're supposed to take care of your undies you see this undies stuff they have see it's a topic on its own like it is very hygienic to take care of your undies because we are ladies you know we are prone to infections and or we are open please try to wash your undies often you don't wear bra for more than three days yes in short you don't wear bra for more than two days because when you sweat your undies collect more of your sweat so you don't you don't keep your undies for a long time before washing so people can wear undies for up to a month because it is dark in color you don't want to wash it you feel it's not dirty baby girl stop that baby girl stop that it is not hygienic please we are ladies learn to keep yourself clean learn to take care of your undies learn to keep your environment clean do your things in an arranged way do your things in a neat way and while you do all those you will enjoy your space you will enjoy your body you will enjoy wearing your clothes you will enjoy holding your like you enjoy your body go there sweet you it be like say you know see when you do all this is your body will just be sweeting you please just learn to take care of yourself the fifth tip you need in leveling up your feminine hygiene is wear clean bedtime dresses or pj sets girls learn to wash your nighties like so people will wear nighties for a long time are you for real you don't even wear nighties for up to a week yes because you going to bed you don't wear clothes the only thing you wear is your nighties so they are just like you wearing inner ways i'm going to bed forget it that you are going to bed though. forget it you are going to bed please learn to change your nighties after every three days yes learn to change your nighties after every three days i know some people might be careless with this because they are just nighties who told you nighties are just like on this too please learn to wash your nighties learn to wear clean nighties or pj sets i know some people love to wear just gowns some people love to wear pj sets for me i love to wear gowns but i don't even wear nighties i sleep without clothes if i decide to sleep in nighties today my nighties are mostly very very light and netty because when i'm sleeping like when i'm going to bed i want air to be entering my body like let air enter let me feel that fresh air while i'm sleeping for those who love sleeping with nighties just learn to change your nighties learn to wash your nighties learn to wear clean nighties to bed and you will sleep like a baby you'll sleep smiling throughout you'll sleep ah. you will not even want to wake up from that sleep because the sleep is sweet the sixth tip you need in leveling up your feminine hygiene is investing in perfumes and scents. Baby girl, why don't you use perfumes or scents? Why? You'd be like, perfumes are so expensive these days. Yes, we know perfumes can be expensive these days. But we have body mist 
that are not that expensive we have we have cheap body mist in the market we have cheap deodorants in the market we have we have cheap roll-ons in the market roll-ons of 500 if you know you're not financially strong to buy all those you can just buy a roll-on to use you can buy a body spray just a body spray it will go a long way for you but you live without perfumes and scents are you for real <laughs> baby girl please try investing in all those and nobody wants to come close to you and you smell funky you smell dirty you smell bad like are you for real nobody wants to come close to you so please just learn to take care of yourself back twice a day take care of your clothes take care of your undies take care of your breath uh -uh, when you do all this in a see you can do all this in a cheap way you don't need to spend too much to do all this we all know that right and if you have the money but you're so careless about taking care of yourself baby girl are you okay you have the money but you're so careless with taking care of yourself are you for real it's your body you like it's your body you're not doing it for anybody you're doing it for yourself please you have the money you don't have much just do what your strengths can carry and you will love your own smell you will forever love your own smell and people will want to come close to you people will want to talk to you people will want to relate with you but when you have bad smell people will not want to come close to you the seventh and last tip you need in leveling up your feminine hygiene is ride on a good skincare and hair care product yes ladies we need good skincare and good hair care product you don't need to do too much to have good skincare and hair care product whatever your wherever your strengths can carry you just go there but please have a good hair care routine have a good skincare routine just learn to have a suitable routine for your skin type and your hair type note Exfoliating your skin is healthy. Washing your body twice is healthy. Using healthy skincare products and not just using healthy skincare products. Use skincare products for your skin type. You know your skin, you buy what's good for your skin, what's best for your skin. You don't just go to the market and buy any house skincare products because you saw brightening in seven days. Are you for real? Please. You should get this off your head. Good skincare products don't bleach. Please don't let anyone deceive you using bleaching products all in the name of glowing the skin. Don't let anyone deceive you in doing that. Please, we have good skincare products in the market, in the stores that you can get. I know we have good skincare products and they are a little pricey in the market. We also have good skincare products that are not pricey. You know you're not financially strong for the pricey ones. You go for the ones that are not pricey. Please, avoid bleaching products. They are not healthy at all. For your hair care routine, try using good hair care products. When you go to get hair care products, learn to read its content. Don't just buy hair care products because someone told you about it we all have different hair types so please try to know your hair type and get a hair care product that fits your hair type what will work for me might not work for you so please learn to know your skin type and your hair type knowing all these will will really help you in getting good products and products that fit your skin so guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for always sticking around to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. If you've not subscribed to the channel, you should do well by subscribing to the channel and being part of this great family. Until next time, bye.